hi there welcome to java I tutorial in this video we will learn what is lambda expression by definition of lambda expression is an anonymous function and it is mostly used to create delegates okay so prior to java 8 we are familiar with anonymous inner class and in this video we will define a new term called a functional interface using the concept of anonymous inner class and then we will see how the lambda expression work with the different parameter and with the return values and how we can use a lambda expression so to start with I will create a first thing uh, inner class an anonymous inner class so let us assume let us define an interface so this is the and add a method so I have an interface I lambda which having a method I hello okay so let use this So I have defined a anonymous inner class, okay, with the name i lambda, and in this I am just adding tutorial, okay. Okay, now what I will do? I will print say hello, okay so it's printed hello to lambda tutorial so it has just printed the anonymous inner class now come back to our lambda expression let's say 2 okay so define a lambda expression okay so it's printed hello from lambda okay this part so exactly what I did is I have defined a functional interface okay in Java 8 so this is how you define a functional interface and with the lambda expression we have actually shortened the entire anonymous class to one line Okay, so this is the beauty of lambda expression. Go to the interface again and one more method. Come back to test class. Add an unimplemented method in an anonymous inner class. And you can see a compiler error has been thrown. So by definition, a functional interface can have only one method defined so the functional interface cannot contain more than one method come back to test program clear all the argument variable now what I will do I will cover what this term refers so this is the empty parameter okay and these are the statement body which is going to be executed okay now if the parameter accepts some values so let's say your interface accepts some value So 44 has been printed. This is how we can define a parameter 
we can add a parameter to a lambda expression. Now we will see how to add a return. So go back to the interface, so add a return type. Just say, let's say you have add method and you're adding two variable integer x and y and returning an integer. So what you have to do? You have to define two parameters. Define the expression. Add three and four. Okay. So let's run this program. So it given seven. So let's run this program. You can see seven and minus one. Okay. So you can also define a type. Let's say one more example list. Let's say you have list of integer. Now as in lambda expression, if you want to iterate over the list, you can always say list dot for each. You can give an action to just print out the list item. Okay. So let's run this program can see one two three is getting printed so the action comparator if you want to add comparator let's say compare Let's run this program. You can see. So one more classic example is like uh, starting a thread. Okay, inside run. So the same thing if you want to do with the. So if you want to do the same thing with the lambda expression, then what you have to do just new way of starting thread in lambda expression okay so you have defined new thread and this is a runnable interface okay this entire piece of code then you have starting the thread hello world so thanks for watching the video do let me know if you have any queries or concern i will try to answer over the comment and don't forget to subscribe or give a like to the channel thank you